You have no idea. There's not two people watching this thing that even has uh, a concept of what it is to act as if you have no limits to your abilities. Zero. You think the late Steve Jobs gives it, gave a fuck what you thought of him? You think Bill Gates gives a fuck? And I go on and on and on. Success leaves clues, kids. I just named five of the greatest names in business in the last 150 years. And they all have one thing in common. They're ball busters. They're hard as nails. He may be abrupt, he may be in your face. Dan Pena's 10 Rules of Greatness. Jack Welsh, arguably the greatest CEO in the history of the world, who managed in um, General Electric for 20, 25 years, he said there is no work-life uh, uh, balance, there are work-life uh, challenges, and we make decisions and we live with them. Do you think Elon Musk has work-life balance? No. Do you think Steve Jobs, when he was alive, had work-life balance? No. Do you think Bill Gates? No. Henry Ford? No. Original Heineken? No. So if none of those people that created the wealth of the world had work-life balance, why do you think you're going to have it? Why? Because you deserve it? I don't think so. You deserve what you get in life by working hard. I was doing some research for my talk, and I looked up Heineken. Gerard Heineken, who was the founder of Heineken Beer in 1864, he talked to his rich mother. Heineken's come from a wealthy family even before the beer. He talked his mother into buying a brewery in 1864, uh, which the, they then turned into uh, Heineken. Uh, Gerard, or Gerard, was a hard ass, tough as nails. Now, I didn't know him, I'm not that old, but I did know Freddie Heineken, the old man, and he was hard ball buster. Now, I don't know his daughter, the current CEO of Heineken, but I'm told she's a ball buster. I did know Steve Jobs. I do know uh, Elon Musk. I do know Warren Buffett. I, I do know, and they're all ball busters. Success leaves clues, kids. I just named five of the greatest names in business in the last 150 years. And they all have one thing in common. They're ball busters. They're hard as fucking nails. So you go where there are people that you want to be like. Find somebody that is where you want to be 20 or 30 years from now and go to him or her now. I had the, the, the presence of mind to be attracted to some very, very famous, very well, wealthy people in my 50 year career. And I went after them to, uh, not, not for money, not for anything like that, but I just wanted them to talk to me and to share their wisdom. And today people are afraid. You can find the people. This is what I'm training you to be like. The four horsemen of the motherfucking apocalypse. Fucking warriors, not whiners, not warriors. You think Donald Trump's a whiner? You think he worries and gives a fuck what you think of him? You think Elon Musk gives a fuck what you think of him? You think the late Steve Jobs gives it, gave a fuck what you thought of him? You think Bill Gates gives a fuck? And I can go on and on and on. The only one that gives a fuck what you, is you and you and you and the fucking morons on YouTube. Most of the people watching this thing should either not be in business if they've got one or close the fucker down if they got one. Because you got in business for all the wrong reasons and you don't have the balls to close them down because of what other people are going to say. You, don't ha you have no idea how um, limitless it is when you're not afraid of what other people think or say. You have no idea. There's not two people watching this thing that even has uh, a concept of what it is to act as if you have no limits to your abilities. Zero. Practice within when you're without. Okay. It's one of my five credos. Practice being successful. How many people listening to this today practice being successful today? Through affirmations, 
to going to the Rolls Royce dealer, if it, maybe Lamborghini, maybe something else. Right. In my particular case, it was Rolls Royce. And within a year of me going to the Rolls Royce dealer, I had a Rolls, okay? Within 19 months of me uh, dreaming and uh, adding it to my goals, a castle on an island, I own Guthrie Castle. Go to stores you can't afford. Okay. Go, uh, go um, hire lawyers you can't afford. So it's all, it's all possible, but I, you know, I devoted myself uh, to feeling successful. I was wearing suits like this before I could afford them. I tell you to set goals beyond your lifetime. I, te I tell you to set goals as soon as humanly possible. When kids come to me, they want to make a million, 10 million, you know, and, and then when they've made a hundred million, they say, Mr. Pena, we would have never, ever dreamt that we could create a hundred million until we met you. You will never exceed your highest expectation. You will never exceed your highest, craziest thought. Never. That's a guarantee. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what if you could accomplish in the world today if you weren't afraid? If you weren't afraid of what people thought of you, said about you, whispered about you, what could you accomplish? A lot more than you've accomplished today. A lot more. Why do we care what people think? Why do we care what people say? And more importantly, why do we care what people whisper? Because we have no self-worth. We have next to little self-esteem. And we have no self-confidence. When was the last courage type thing that you did in your lifetime? When was the last time you exhibited some courage? Some of you have to go back a long, long way. Some of you never. You only have one time to make a first impression. The first impression is how you look. You dress like and you, you blame it on the 21st century, the reason why you dress the way you do. 25 years ago, if you come to a seminar like this, you'd all be wearing suit and tie. 40 years ago, the women would be wearing hats. This is my uniform. I, I, I don't go to sleep like this, but I mean, this is my uniform. It has been for a long, long, long time. If you want to get money from banks, dress like a president or the prime minister of your country. You only have one time to make a first impression, kids. You come in looking like some of you, I wouldn't give you toilet paper. Second impression is when you open your mouth. Most of you, with the greatest respect, can't speak properly. You stutter, you mumble, you sweat. High performance people, the one thing that they all have in common is they're hungry. Hungry for a better life. Hungry for change. Hungry for the tough love their parents didn't give them. Growth only comes through pain. No pain, no gain. It's the same in life. Um, if love got the job done, you wouldn't need podcasts, you wouldn't need seminars. It doesn't. Tough love gets the job done. It's the same advice that I give and the best advice that I got. Just do it. Implementing behaviors of successful individuals and how they've achieved their greatness can help you become great. All you have to do is pick a handful of behaviors to start implementing in your life. Copy the behaviors that successful individuals do and you will achieve more. It's just that simple. What are the behaviors you're gonna implement and how are you gonna become great? Write it in the comments below and I wish you all the success.